Hello, my name is Jason Smith. I'm the Outbound Product Manager for the ITOM Health Solution at ServiceNow. And today we're going to go through the Agent Client Collector for monitoring and specifically how to monitor app service URLs on behalf of end users. Typical IT organizations provide application service access to end users in multiple locations. So these end users can be internal or external. And even minor issues can negatively impact the end users which causes them to open up cases, and this is generally reflected on as a reactive solution to this kind of problem. However, what we can do is install the agent in multiple geographies and monitor on behalf of the end users. Telemetry is sent to the ServiceNow instance, where it's processed by machine learning algorithms. When anomalies are detected, automated workflows can be started, and this is a more proactive solution. The architecture is relatively straightforward. You need to install an agent on a server, the agent initiates communication with the mid-server and the mid-server initiates communication with the ServiceNow instance. So telemetry is ultimately sent back to the ServiceNow instance. You will need a list of the application service URLs and then we will use the proxy service functionality that is part of the agent to connect uh, to the URLs on behalf of the end user. And this includes doing things like DNS lookup so we can see how long it takes to find a name using domain name service. This is the metric explorer. On the left hand side, you can see the name of the application service. In this case, it's called ITOM demo, and there's one entry point. So all I've done here is I've clicked on the time total metrics from two different locations, and I can compare those metrics against each other. You can choose custom time ranges and slice and dice as you see fit. Anomaly alerts can be drilled into. A time span is automatically selected for you. So one hour before and one hour after the occurrence of the anomaly. In this case, I can see that time connect was spiking, total time was spiking, time pre-transfer was spiking, all at the same time the DNS lookup was spiking. So in this case, I understand that the DNS lookup is really the root cause here, and I don't need to open up an issue with the application service teams. If I need to open up an issue, I'll open up with the team that's responsible for the domain name service. Anomaly alerts can be promoted to IT alerts, and when that happens, another round of machine learning takes place to group different alerts together in one aggregated group. So in this case, we've got an alert group, and I can see that it has to do with name lookup. So that could be my primary alert in that alert group. And then I see that I've got some secondary alerts here, and they have to do with time pre-transfer, time name lookup, and time to connect. So the metric names are all different. The description names are all different. The alerts came in at different times, but nonetheless, the machine learning capabilities are strong enough to correctly group these alerts together in one group. Bulk configuration of this is very simple. We're gonna go through a demo. Generally, you just need a list of the URLs that you want to monitor. These are the URLs for your application services. You need to make sure to deploy the agent. And then it's a very simple action to enable the policy so that the monitoring can begin to take place. Okay, so for this demo, I'm going to show you how to bulk import service URLs for monitoring. It's really simple. You just need a CSV file. So literally just the name of the service that you want and the identifying HTTP URL. Okay, so once I've got that list created, I need to import it into ServiceNow. Very simple, go to the Service Mapping homepage, click on Additional Options, and then Import Service Map List. There's my list there. And then Import. Okay, so I've got seven mapping candidates. Four of them were just imported. Let's take a look at that. Okay, so I imported this one, this one, this one and this one. So all I need to do now is simply say discover selected. And that's going to create the application service records for me. Go back to the application service records here. Find the ones that are not operational. So these are new. So they're not operational, so they're not getting monitored yet. So I'm going to go ahead and change that and I will set these to be monitored or operational. And then I'm actually going to assign these to myself because this is a shortcut to getting notifications to the mobile app. Okay, so they're ready to be monitored now. Okay, so now it's time to take a look at my agents. I've already got the agents installed on a couple different computers. So this is just simply a list of the agent client collectors that are deployed. And I've got these two that I've named agent monitor one and agent monitor two, and I want to assign them a location. So it's just simply going to the location attribute and uh, change the, uh, the location. So for, in this case, I've got one for Rome, 
and one for Pittsburgh. That means I'm going to be able to get telemetry from both Rome and Pittsburgh. And then I will need to enable the policy. So I'm going to group by application. And then I'm going to search for HTTP. OK, so this is just the HTTP policies that are default with the agent client collector for monitoring. So we've got two here. One is for events, where we're looking for known errors like excessive redirects. And then the metrics, where we're getting various uh, telemetry from the connecting to URLs. So I'll click into that one. OK, this is the policy. I want to edit it in the sandbox. And then click here. And the first thing we notice is that the monitored CIs tab is selected. Monitor CI type is HTTP entry point. And the filter is set to operational status is operational and is monitored by agent client collector set to true. Default settings are if the application service has an HTTP URL entry point and you set the application service to operational, then it's automatically brought under monitoring. The proxy settings is specific to the agent itself. So I want to manage this by having this policy deployed on multiple agents. So in this case, I've just done a very simple filter. The name is Agent Monitor 1 or name is Agent Monitor 2. If I click Preview here, there's two records that match that condition. That means that there's two agents that are going to get this policy. OK, let's take a look again at the application services that we imported. So I'm in the event management application, looking at mapped application services, and I can see the severity is good. They're already being monitored, at least from the HTTP URL perspective, and so far so good. If you want to, you can create service groups like I've done here, create these records, and this will help organize the view on your operator workspace. So let's take a look at the operator workspace. So here are the, um, the groups that I made here. So I've clicked around on these different options and I saved this view so I can come back to it at the time that I choose. And let's take a look at uh, this one, for instance. So when I drill into this service, everything looks good, but I want to see a little bit more information about it. So I'll go to the endpoint. And then I can see the related metrics. So these are the golden metrics or featured metrics related to this type of CI. I could click on Metric Explorer, or I could click on one of these icons, and that will open up the Metric Explorer with those values already selected. So I'm getting time total from two different locations. In this case, it's from Pittsburgh and Rome. And on the left, you can see here, the metric is of a type. Uh, me time measurement has to do with milliseconds. But I could also look at things like HTTP code and bring that into the uh, same view. So I've got one metric type here on the right. In this case, it was HTTP code 200, which is good. And then I have uh, these other metrics to really have to do with time. OK, so you can show alerts on the CI. There happens to be no alerts right now. And you can choose a custom time range for the view. So far, we've only looked at HTTP type of metrics. You can, of course, get any other type of metrics into the system. In this case, I want to look at a self-managed service and there are some related CIs. So I'm going to look at a Linux server. And here are the featured metrics for that server. We could also drill in and do some queries. So if I was interested in the steel percentage, I could look up that. Click there. And I can see that the CPU steel percentage is, in fact, very low. So very simple to set up. Start with a list of application URLs and import those. Make sure to set the status to operational for the application services. You can set a location on the agents once the agents are installed. And then just enable the policy and you're ready to go. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.